Cheers, guys. Epics 911, welcome to the Elitist Geek and the video taking a look at Chris Thorley, one of the viewers of this channel's custom 3D designed and printed HTC Vive headphones. So I'm going to just start off by showing these headphones. I'm going to put the Vive on, let you see each side. Hopefully there's enough light to get a clear view of it. And then let's talk about these things. So you can see here very much like the Oculus Rift, these things hang over the ear. And what I love is you can adjust horizontally how you want them to hang just by moving them up and down the band, right, before you strap the Velcro on. You can see he's etched Epix 911 in there, and I'll show that again if you can't see it, but it just looks freaking cool. All right. Now, what I love about these things, and one of the things that Chris mentioned himself, is just the hygiene. And far from being a germaphobe, although I do have my moments and some OCD and all that crap, I'll agree to that. Nobody wants to have earwax crusted earbuds that their buddy was using. Here you go, and not to be gross, but, you know, baubles of earwax sticking on it. It's disgusting, right? Over the ear headphones, same things. You've got sweaty, matted hair. Those things can get sopping wet and the leather is sticky and wet. And again, nobody wants that covering their ear, right? The beauty of this design and what I like what Chris has done, and if you compare that, right, to the Oculus Rift, is that it hangs over the ear without going in it or touching it and covering it, right? And it doesn't do that by sacrificing a lot of audio, which is, which is a good thing. So what he's done here, and I'm going to show you, he's used the Vive Triangle, which just looks freaking awesome in my opinion, right? And the strap literally goes through the grooves there. And like I said, can be moved horizontally, whereas with the Rift design, while it can pivot, right, like you can angle it this way, you can't actually move it along the band. You can move the band itself, right, in and out, but you can't move or slide this along it. The Rift headphone sounds surprisingly good for what it is, right? Is it up to Sennheiser like I have? No. Um, but it's easily as good as the earbuds that I use from time to time. And these JVC-driven headphones are no different. Now, one of the things Chris pointed out to me was that they were a little anemic on the base. And look, I just want to say up front, because I don't want this to come across as sales pitchy in any way, but as an honest evaluation. And one of the things I said to Chris was, look, if there's things I don't like about it, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna mention those. That's just how I wanna run this channel. That's how I wanna be. I wanna be transparent about things like that and not come across as a fanboy for any one product, right? And he was okay with that. He understood that, um, but look, I was pretty sure when I saw them, there wasn't going to be a lot that I didn't like, right? But I would have to agree that the bass does sound a little anemic. Now, he may offer different types. Now, at the end of this video, in the description, you can find his email. It's a Gmail address for Chris Thorley. Uh, he mentioned that the entry level of these are going to be about 20 pounds, right? UK pounds plus shipping. So you can contact him, work out the details. Uh, if this is something you're interested. Personally, I'm going to leave these as a permanent, not just because they got that cool Epix 911 etching, <laughs> right? But I love the whole hygienic aspect, the ease of use, uh, and the design is just freaking cool, having that HTC Vive triangle, right? Treble is fine. The overall audio, no problem. Now, where I was going with what I was saying is he may be offering upgraded versions of the drivers, like different brands, right? Um, that's something he's going to maybe talk to down below. He can mention that, or if you email him, you can discuss that. 
Um, I've asked him about the etching, if that's something that, you know, for a couple bucks you can have whatever you want etched in there. I imagine he's going to put the stereo L and R so you know which side these go on. He didn't do that for these, but he did mention in the email that that was going to be the case, right? And like I said, I paid for these, so I didn't want this to be a thing where, look, this guy's sending me free stuff and... I feel obligated or the perception is going to be that I'm obligated to say something good about these things, right? For that very reason, I mentioned to him, I want to be honest, you know, tell me what you, what you want uh, for the shipping and your time. And he was, you know, very obliging, basically put a number in there for the shipping. I put extra on top of that for his time because again, I didn't want this to be a thing where the perception is I'm going to say something good just because somebody sent me these, right? So with that out of the way, let's just talk about these a bit more. So they hang over the top. They are very good at staying in place because when you thread it through the strap and you come back over the triangle, it will lock it into place to where you had adjusted it, which is fantastic. Now I've put these things through their paces for quite a few hours worth of play. Probably in the last two days, I would say close to half a dozen hours I've used these for. Now I'm going to take off one of the straps here just so you can see it a bit closer. And if we move it, there we go. So there you go. You can see an up close look at how they look. And you can see it's the same kind of charcoal black as the HTC Vive itself, very comfortable, typical microphone padding on there, but really professionally done. Like this thing easily looks like, to me, it could be a commercial product and what a fantastic niche to cater to, right? And it's coming from a fan who loves the product. That's what's so cool about this. I haven't seen anyone doing this online at all and yet it's like any good idea. Once you see it executed, you think, wow, that's so obvious. Why didn't somebody else think of that, right? And that was my exact thought. Now, you guys might be seeing this massive bundle of cables up here, right? I had specifically asked Chris to make the length longer than normal, right? It would normally be nowhere near that long. And again, you can discuss that with him. There may be different options for the length of the cable, right? I opted for super long, but what he did include was a Velcro, a piece of Velcro to bundle them. He had this bundle way neater than I did. I totally foobarred it. As soon as I unwrapped it, it was all over the place. But anyways, that top loop, which is part of your HTC Vive, is where that bundle would get Velcroed and tucked in. So it stays completely out of the way, doesn't touch your head at all, right? You've got the strap on the underside and all the cables on the top. So you don't have to worry about that coming into contact with your head. And like I said, the version that you would get would be considerably shorter, right? Unless of course you opted for something long. And again, that can probably be worked out with him. So all in all, I think these things are terrific. I would definitely recommend anyone getting them. Cost is going to be something that you have to determine. But to me, honestly, 20 pounds, uh, you know, if I'm looking at the exchange rate and I'm thinking 30 to 50 bucks for a pair of custom headphones that slide onto the, onto the strap, look like they were designed specifically from HTC itself, to me, that's a no-brainer um, and the reason I'm going to keep these things on, right? But hey, your opinions of that may vary and that is your right, right? As a consumer or potential consumer slash evaluator, right? Fair enough. If you've got questions, I'll do my best to answer them in the comments below. Like I said, you can also email Chris directly and ask him those questions. I will have all the details below. And uh, yeah, if anyone else does purchase these, I would be very interested in hearing your thoughts about them once they arrive, right? Shipping was pretty damn quick. So there you go. All right, guys, that's it for this quick evaluation video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. And uh, if you have questions, let me know. Cheers, guys. And we will see you on the flip side.